Ready whenever you are. Ready whenever you are. Yeah? Come on. So when are you off tomorrow? Boots at about half nine, so... And when do you get into London? Late. My, uh, my dad said you'd be starting on the boats next week. Yeah. It's tomorrow, actually. That's exciting. It's hardly university, is it? It's still exciting. It's not. I don't want to be a fisherman, Eddie. I know. So what do you want? So... What do you want? I don't know. I miss this view, you know. You don't realise how much you love something till you're about to leave it behind. I know what you mean. I mean, it is so far away. You'll be on a different island, a whole new part of the world. You're so dramatic. It is. I'm not going to go and forget all about you, you know. I won't. I know. Jack. It's blue and freezing up here now, isn't it? Come on, let's go. Go where? I need to go to Paul's to give him some books back. It's really weird that you call him Paul, Eddie. Edward, how are you? I'm good, thank you, Paul. You? Can't complain, can't complain. And Jack, of course. All right, son? Yes, I'm good. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Good, good, I'm glad. Well, come on in, both of you. I'll pop the kettle on. What did you think of Orwell? He's a bit bleak, isn't he? How do you mean? I mean, it's a fantastic sociological criticism, sure. And as an anti-communist propaganda, it certainly has its place. I just don't really like the dystopia of it all. It was thought to be a semi-realistic future in 1948, if communism was going to take over the Western world. I just don't like the idea that a state could ever have that much control about how we live, what we think, what we feel. It's a little unnerving. I suppose. I like knowing where I stand. I like knowing that what I put into things is what I'm going to get out. And I guess I like to imagine the government isn't out to get me. Don't we all? I did enjoy it overall, though. Good. Well, that's the main thing. Never lose your passion for reading, Edward. It will serve you well at university. What do you remember most about Cambridge? Gosh. Uh, the people, I guess. They were some of the best people I've ever met. I made a lot of very good friends there. Not that I see them anymore, of course. 
there was, there was someone who changed my life, whom I loved very much. But I haven't spoken to them in years. Why? Because that was the way of things back then. We were the best of friends for four years. I never said anything to jeopardise that. You should have done. You could have had that time together. He wouldn't have wanted me. One to bring back at Christmas. I think you would benefit from reading some Isherwood. Well, I've kept you boys long enough. I'll, I'll let you get back to your day. Do you think anyone else knows? Knows? About Mr. Kelly. Do you think he's told anyone else? No. Are you sure? No. Then why did you say no? Because I don't think it's something you just tell anyone, Eddie. He told us? And what could we do? Arrest him? That's not our job. We could report him. Maybe he trusts you. Trust me? You won't report him. Because I don't want to become involved in anything like this. I don't want that on my record. He's still a good teacher, Eddie. No, he isn't. He's irresponsible being around kids when he's... It doesn't actually affect his job, though, does it? It's not like it bothers anyone. It's not hurting anyone. I just expected more of him. It doesn't make him a bad guy. Jeez, Jack. You always come out with stupid stuff like this. Don't call me stupid, Eddie. No, Jack. You need to get your head on straight. Why are you doing this? What? What do you get out of this? Mr. Kelly practically got you into university, and you're ready to completely disown him because he was in love with a man. Don't say it like that. I've not done anything wrong. Neither has he. You respected him an hour ago. Nothing's changed since then. He's still the exact same person. You're still the exact same person. I'm still the exact same person. What have you got to do with it? And what have you got to do with it? <sighs> nothing. I've got nothing to do with it. Wait, Jack! No! It's just so easy for you, isn't it? You just get to leave, but the rest of us don't. We've got to sit behind and figure out what's left of our lives. Hi. Your dad said you were down here getting the boat ready. And... 
I didn't want to leave without saying goodbye. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. I've gotta go. See you at Christmas. I do.